Welcome back to part 11 of my creep game. In the previous part we pressed a holy war for Sardinia and were able to win it quite easily. We've also been eyeing the Byzantine Empire closely here and we're trying to wait for an inn here to declare a holy war for kingdom. Now what's your problem? Evidence of my consorting with demons. How dare you? So he wants uh, a hook on me. Um, if we just say no, we're going to get exposed as being a witch. We don't have a liege, though, so I'm not really too worried about that, I don't think. We openly become a witch instead of having the witch secret. Um, I assume this is criminal in our... Yes, in our religion. Witchcraft is criminal. So people are going to like us less. On the other hand, what does he use his hook for? Uh, guaranteed council rights or, or something like that. He's already on the council, so he'll use it somewhere here, I, I believe. Protected title revocation. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give him the hook. Sure, you got me. Oh, what did we just get? Okay, let's give that away. I would like to give this guy some land to make him hate us less. I've not been converting either. Um, so let's do that. We do want to found our, our witch coven if possible. My brother- oh, are you gonna die? Almost certainly, almost certainly. He's had a couple kids though, so we'll start somewhere else. My cousin, how about you? Would you like to join us here? There you go. Uh, let's convert you to witchcraft. Let's start converting members of our house so that we can form this witch coven. I have to be pretty far away, I think. Yeah, 8.3% of my house are witches. We need 60%. Uh, we also need to teach it to our son. What are you doing? Attacker? I'm going to say no. Uh, so there's Gallant. We have Gallant done. We have Serve the Crown. Probably a good time to get out of Marshall. I don't usually want to spend time going down like two trees here. Uh, we could hold more land if we grab Domain Focus. Don't know if I really want to go down Architect. That's going to take the majority of my life. I think I'm more inclined to want to go into Learning at this point. Do we need the health boost? We have nothing. No, no negatives or positives. Uh, usually my default is scholarship unless I feel like I need the health boost. I think I'll just go scholarship here. Mudrik. Ooh, that's another really nice sun. Okay. Got some great air potential here. My brother died from smallpox. Okay. Not to sound insensitive, but I've been waiting for this. A member of my family to die. <laughs> so I can host the funeral. Because I need legitimacy, and that's what's important here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that done. That's expensive! Wow. Uh, I still think I'm going to go for it, though. It's, uh... It wants me to be so damn high on the expected legitimacy level. Kind of unfortunate. But it'll help me out if I if I do get there. What's going on here now? He's got another war. Someone else's claim on the Byzantine Empire. Okay, so what else is new? Uh, and then this holy war is still going on. Uh, okay. Yeah, you've already got enough daughters. Um, we keep getting this back. You you start off ill, okay? <laughs> Might just get that back in a few seconds here. Uh, so this daughter is already betrothed. We already have that alliance formed. Uh, I think her betrothed passed away, so we can get her. Uh, we can get another alliance there from that daughter. Uh, I'll hold off on doing that until I'm actually ready to declare this war. We do have the required level of devotion now, so we're at least ready for it if, we're, if we uh, see the opportunity. 
Um, what I really want more than anything here is legitimacy, so I, I might take some of these gambles here. 51. Nice. 51. Nice. This is exactly what we needed. Converting my cousin or whoever. Uh, while we're at a funeral. So this gives us more percentage legitimacy gain. Like 5%. Does that even really make that big of a deal? I, I guess the uh, stress isn't such a big deal here. Yeah, let's just go for it. Should be done soon, I feel. So what did he do? Granted marriage favor. Okay. So he's probably going to get that daughter betrothed to one of our sons or something like that. Whatever. So this guy ends up getting paranoid and zealous. Basically going to be impossible to make him a witch. Although sometimes they'll just uh, get it automatically when they're almost done their education. One oh seven. Nice. How are we doing here? We're above three. We still need to get to four though, so um, you know, maybe another member of my family could pass away in the next few years. Um. Okay, I don't really want to be spending all this gold though. I, I kind of need to save it up. So our son has become a witch now. We are going to look for... Did I convert my wife? 5%. She's zealous. She's not going to want to do it. Shoot. Okay. So let's... Oh, my daughter's zealous too. Not cool. Uh, basically, the only thing that stops you... Well, uh, paranoid helps or hurts as well. But basically, it's just zealous. Really shuts down any... any making people witches. Uh, I could click the wrong thing here. So my cousin here, 32. How about how about you? 95%. Let's go for it. And uh, we'll just keep trying to get this number up. I've been uh, slacking on it. We should be able to get it done, though. Found the witch coven. Always, always really beneficial. This daughter will get sealed soon. Looks like he's an adult. There we go. Locks in our alliance with this dude. He's still only 33 as well. Oh, he's in a bunch of wars. Shoot. It's not really what we want. Um, yeah, like these are all useful, but I'm trying to raise my heirs right now. So this guy is 6, and he is the best possible heir. So I'm just going to abandon this fellow and start raising our, hopefully, our heir. Uh, we'll just let this dude finish this off for now. And I'm still kind of trying to save up to build this. Uh, 460, it's a little steep and I keep having to spend money on other things. Also, I'm trying to convert or recruit some knights, so... That's going to cost us. Uh, might hold off on that. We'll just let those knights chill there as guests until I'm actually ready to declare war. So he's still at like 2k troops. Still in one war. Uh, people attacking, pressing the claim though, their armies are going to be just scattered around the area. Uh, and they'll be hostile to us, so there is some... Uh, some more power in, in the area here that we have to be scared of too. Apparently there's a couple of kings underneath them already. Thessalonica and Nikea. Oh, actually there's four, wow. That's interesting. Armenia holding on. Well, they're actually Ashari. Here we go, free unlock. 
always good. Uh, I might just go open-minded here. There's so many cultures around us, that's going to help out quite a bit. Cultural fascination is always nice too. I actually don't even know what I'm researching right now that I think of it. Uh, what did I go on? Communal government? Okay, I don't think that was my doing. It just kind of went there. Yeah, let's just finish this off. And she said no to the 95. You know what? Screw you. I can't imagine this is going to be easy. 16%. Yeah, we need him to like us a little bit more here. I guess we can just give him this. I'm holding one too few now, so I just take this one. In advance. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we'll move our siege weapons over there. And then just throw this here. I could also just destroy these. None of them are too powerful. I'd rather keep them than not. Um, but getting this mine built would be really, really huge for us. Maybe I just sway him a little bit. If one or two of these sways go off, he might give up the rivalry against us. Might make the difference here. So yeah, I'm not going to get him married. I don't really want to play him. He's serving as a knight, which is perfect for us. I have to find a way to get through my first couple sons here so we can play who we really want to play. Um, yeah, we keep getting these events. I, I feel like it should still be worth it. Elements artifact. Plutarch's lives artifact on medical material. This feels like it's going to give me a, a bonus, right? A small health boost. Hey, there we go. Uh, I don't want to repair this. So let's get rid of that one. I think the health boost is, is worth it, though. We didn't have any yet. Uh, one random illness or injury with a failed treatment and your character can just die if you don't have anything like that. Oh my god. No. Sorry ladies, no no jewelry today. We're trying to save up to build a... Uh, what is this actually, a silver mine? Something like that? I think it's silver? Argentiera mine. Rich in underground, yeah, silver veins. A sufficient incentive and development. Uh, exploited for the vast quantities of precious silver, apparently. On Sardinia. And there is a new king in Sicily who's got his capital actually kind of close to our land here now. Um, that might not be a bad war target either. This guy won his war against the Byzantines, so he's able to take that one single county. It's a big war to be fighting for just one county. Hopefully when we go to war with them we can get a little bit more than that. The struggle right now is I kind of want to pay for the mine, but I also want to save up gold for my war, so I don't know which is actually going to happen first. Maybe I should do this. I feel like we're not making a lot of progress. Seven years and it's halfway done. Let's just do collect taxes. Make it a lucky benefit here. That would go quite far. How is my mother doing? So she's in poor health, despite the athletic. And we should be able to host another funeral soon. Two years, yeah. So the timing should be decent. The Arabian Empire is still just an absolute nightmare. I'm glad I got out of that when I did. Egypt is weak. Terrible. So this guy is the king of Andalus, but he's not Christian. What the hell is that, man? Brittany? Okay. Don't see that every day. Uh, so he's calling himself king, but he's really weak. He wants to marry my daughter. It's still a thousand troops. We might be able to do better. I'm just going to say no for now. Really? Brittany? Okay. He's actually from uh, one of those houses up there, too, Ren. Wherever they start off here, I guess. It's fascinating. I 
inherited, inherited via abdication, abdication, created. So at one point, one of these the members of this house just became uh, king of Aquitaine and then was able to uh, hold land down here. Ben Soul, really? <laughs> Isn't that a Jewish family name? Yeah, Sephardic. Interesting. Sometimes there's odd stuff going on in uh, different parts of the world, and you kind of get zoomed in on where you're focused. Uh, nothing looks too crazy over there, actually. Um, this is actually not bad in, in this circumstance. Usually I don't care too much about it, but it's pretty good here. I'm Obviously I want to know thyself as well. Yeah, let's just get this first. Still kind of weak. Oh wow, another Herculean genius. Okay, and we didn't even go down the blood tree, so we have tons of great heirs. Basically just gonna have to pick and choose who we want to play when the time comes. And another one on the way. Okay, getting celibacy might not be such a bad idea pretty quickly here. Not that more children is is super bad, but uh, this is starting to get a little bit out of control. I think our succession is still mostly okay though, like until we actually have a, another kingdom title made. Oh, it's in friendly, not harmonious. Can we steer that then? Now how does this look? Oh, it's still only in friendly. Really? It's that damn cousin of mine blackmailing me that caused this. Uh, it'll get even better with Harmonious, I think. And a really nice thing about this, even if it's not into Harmonious, just being here, is that you're not um, playing with Confederate partitions, so your ex excess kingdom titles that you may or may not be able to make, uh, they don't get created automatically, so... Not only does your heir inherit most of your stuff, it also kind of prevents the, the really bad parts of Confederate Partition from actually happening. There you go. Hmm, this guy again. No. Don't really want to get that son married. Uh, study Alchemy. This might also be a health boost item. 420 gold though, we're actually starting to make a decent amount. I feel like I just really need to go for this mine, it's gonna make things quite a bit better here. Oh, 431, wow, I'm actually closer than I thought. Okay, let's go. That is really nice. Let's get started on that as soon as possible. Boom. We are completely broke again, but we're gonna be making 10 gold per month once that finishes, so that'll be really, really good. Alright, so this woman and my son, when this event pops up, they are already lovers. I, every single time it happens. If I imprison her and execute her, he's going to be pissed at me for executing his uh, close family. Or close relation, whatever. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just going to do that, I think. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want them to get married. I don't need to torture her, I don't think we'll just silently get rid of her. So that, that is one thing that I've noticed. He's always going to already be a, a lover with her. That's why his, he's got a close relation with her. Uh, okay, so this is a guy that we're kind of trying to play here. He's got Calm. He's also apparently possessed. moderate health penalty. We do have some pretty good backup heirs behind him, though. Uh, I think I might take the gold here. Oh, the experience is so good, though. How do I say no? 300 experience. Yeah, no, we're making a decent amount of gold now. Let's just take the experience. I am planning on declaring this war against the Byzantines, uh, the kingdom of the Salonica. But uh, I'm just going to wait a little bit, I think. We need to let our gold get back up. I'll form a couple more alliances, and then we will bring the paint on him. 
Hopefully I don't miss my opportunity here, because he's, he's pretty weak right now. I don't feel like I can win this war fast enough uh, with only 38 gold, though. Okay, so at least our heirs are getting these traits now. He didn't get a particularly great one, but at least it's something. So yeah, I, I do want this, but I think I'm just going to go for uh, Know Thyself and Restraint now at this point. So where is that? It's on our land somewhere. Okay, it's over there. We should be safe. We're going to be getting a lot of those this game. I, I feel like being in the Mediterranean on the coastal areas always seems to get hit the hardest. So who actually wants to help me take this? Apparently everyone wants to marry this daughter of mine. Uh, I can see why, she's intelligent. So this guy we already got the alliance with. Who are you? He's that guy right there. That's actually not bad at all. Or his son. We can do that. Okay, interesting. Let's get our younger daughter and uh, his son, and then this daughter, Baya. That's a little bit further away. Quite strong, though. Uh, they are actually a king. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Not in any wars right now. We're going to need a lot of help to get this done, though. Oh, and what's he got now? Some Armenian Ashari Uprising. Wow. Okay, this, this might be the time, actually, to get started on this war pretty quick here. Uh, yeah, let this sun come of age. He will serve as a knight, too. Uh, I don't think I'm holding any of these directly, am I? Just help these guys out here. So this guy's next up. Start raising him. Uh, this guy's pretty good. Steward, if we need it. Yeah, no, we don't want to fire our cousin, though. He's going to be pissy with us. Uh, 49%. Yeah, you know what? Let's just give up on that. He'll get over it eventually, I hope. Start swinging some of these other guys. No, let's let's keep um, let's keep converting these people to uh, witchcraft. So you ended up marrying this king of Navarre over here. Do we have an alliance with you because of that? Negative. Anyways, become a witch, please. Oh, Brittany's in trouble. I don't really want to lose Cynical. Oh, wow, he's so weak right now. It's still going to take forever to actually siege down his capital, though. I don't want to spend my gold, but I do want more siege weapons. Uh, if all my allies come, this is going to be really lopsided. Yeah. I'm going to get started on that very quickly. Definitely the best possible war for me, I think. Uh, best use of my Holy War for Kingdom as well. So he gets stubborn. That's actually pretty good. It's going to help counteract the... Uh... Or does that count as a disease? Disease resistance? Small boost? Eh, whatever. Either way, it's it's something. Possessed. I'm waiting for here. I guess we could get another. Oh my god. So many kids. And then we get ill. Uh, 
we could just get like maybe one more alliance. Who are you? You should be a little bit further away. He is, but that's still quite a bit. Damn. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Keep the conversion going. Any random adult in our house who is not paranoid uh, or zealous? How about you? Let's check our progress here. 3571. Okay, so we're, we're making progress. Uh, I'm going to try to convert my daughters since my wives are not doing it for me. I forgot that I looked at one, but uh, I might be able to convert these other two. I have kids with them as well. They're raising some of my daughters. What are you doing? Attacker. Okay, so that's that guy. Uh, I'm going to say no. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing? Oh, this. Okay. That should be pretty easy, I think. Still, he's just a portion of uh, what I'm going to call to this war. So I think we'll be okay without him. Uh, what would be the best thing here? Raised army maintenance? Uh, the extra night effectiveness? Night effectiveness, hostile scheme success chance. I find that usually I default to this. Raised army maintenance might actually be useful. We'll see how much uh, money we're actually spending after we raise our army here. So I'm going to take Sylla to see. I think I have enough kids. We can start figuring out what to do with them. We are 41. We have 11 living children, 12 overall. Um, yeah, okay. Before this war ends, oh yeah, look at his army. Uh, let's get this started. 200 gold. I would love to have more, but I think we're going to be okay here. So let's call everyone in that we can. Hopefully they're all willing to help. I feel like I should have had more than that, didn't I? Uh, did one of my alliances break already? Ibrahimid? Yeah, he looks like a different dude. Okay. And let us raise our army up and see what's what here. Take a month to do that. Okay. So we're actually still in the positive here. That's not too bad. Probably just going to head over to his capital while his army is weak and tr try to siege that. It's going to take a while. I am going to be waiting for my allies to gather from across the uh, the Muslim world here and uh, hopefully help us take down the, uh, the Byzantine capital here. Um, I'm going to be doing this in the next part, though thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.